Even in the dead of winter, there is life and flavor. Perhaps not abundant, maybe a bit dulled, but it's there. I had this idea of making an ice cream that would highlight the flavor of our woods in two extreme seasons. What could be considered the doldrums of winter and the abundance of summer. I wanted to flavor an ice cream base with tree needles. Huckleberry pine ice cream. But not every tree needle tastes the same, and the season has a lot to do with that. Ever tried lodgepole pine tips in the spring? Mild, citrusy, and of course piney. Ooh. Well, I'm getting this pitch off of that. So here's some yellow pine, also known as ponderosa pine. You can tell by the longer needles and they come in, they grow in groups of three. I think this is what I'm gonna use today. Yeah, it's a bit, bit more mild, still pretty strong. I think with what we're going to do, I think it's going to work out. Chop up enough pine needles for about half a cup. Maybe give them some good wax with a flat ear knife to release some flavor. Add one cup of cream. One cup of milk. Don't forget the secret ingredient. And stir with whatever's handy. Knife, finger, stick, whatever. Oh, and maybe remember to focus the camera next time. Cover up the mixture and refrigerate for about 12 hours. Taste it as you go and get the amount of flavor you want. I think this is a really cool recipe for this time of the year because like, there's not a whole lot going on Hunting's done, there's not a whole lot of foraging happening, but we do have trees everywhere. And I'm like a part-time logger and I kind of miss the taste of trees. So that's why we're doing this. It's, uh, it tastes good and it's fun. I'm gonna start off by straining our pine needles out. And two thirds of a cup of sugar. Set it on medium heat. Add a pinch of salt to this and keep it stirred. Keep it on the heat until the milk mixture is steaming. Now we'll get the huckleberries going. Look at those trophies. 
Want to know my picking spot? Not in your life. As this heats up, it'll just break down and turn into a compote. While trying not to completely forget about what is happening on the stove, crack three large eggs in the bowl. You're counting four eggs. So we get eggs from my sister-in-law and her chickens lay all manners of shaped eggs. This week they're small, so I'm using four. Pine milk has come to a steam and I'm slowly whisking it into the eggs. This tempers the eggs to avoid the dreaded scramble egg cream. all in to stress that this step should not, cannot be rushed. The eggs have been tempered and back to the heat. Stir this constantly for about five minutes till it starts to thicken and will coat the back of a spoon. And turn the heat off. Add the remaining cup of cream and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is what we're looking for. Most of the water has been taken out. And now we'll let this turn the heat off on here and let that cool in the fridge. When I was a kid, we had one of those ice cream makers where you would throw ice and rock salt at it for what seemed like hours while it churned away. It would make like two gallons of ice cream. For some reason, the lawn would always die where we used it. <laughs> anyway, these Cuisinarts are cool. You freeze the bowl and it spins away in there. No rock salt and your grass stays green. I like to mix the huckleberries in by hand so it's not completely churned together. Now pop everything in the freezer for a few hours or there would be no laws broken if eaten immediately. The pine came out really nice in this. You pair that with the huckleberries from the summer, 